Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the new iMovie. This is iMovie version 10 released with OS X Mavericks. So the first thing we want to do to create a movie is select File, New Event. We'll name this iMovie Demo Media. Event holds all your media, so we can select Import Media. You can always select more later. So let's see. We'll import some HD videos along some images. So once that's in, we want to select create and create a movie. Your movie goes on top of your event, so we'll select no theme. Then we can name it, and we want to select the event that we have all of our media in. So we can select OK. Up here is our event containing all of our media. Down at the bottom is the movie. So what we want to do now is, say we want to import this clip right here from about here, maybe down to here. We can start here and we can drag it down. And let's say that's good. So we want to click and hold that while dragging it to the end, then select that and drag it down. Then maybe we want to take a photo. I have a photo of the International Space Station here. Click the photo, drag it down in. Then I also want to take this beginning part from here to about here and put it in between these two. Then to shorten a clip, I might want to crop the end off this. This applies to anything, including audio, video, and images. If you go to the end of it, it'll show this icon. Click, hold, and drag. It'll tell you how much you've taken off. Two and a half seconds. So this is one and a half seconds long. Then we want to adjust the sound, which is right below the video. You can see this little icon. Drag it. It'll give you a percentage for the sound. The next thing we want to do maybe is add some transitions. Select transitions under content library. That will replace your event that was showing here. To show that, go back to the event right here. So we'll go to transitions. Maybe we we'll want to take this mosaic, put it in between these two. So you're just going to click and drag maybe the cross blur between these two and a fade to black at the end. Maybe you want to add a title. Select titles under content library. This iMovie comes with a couple new ones. So let's see, we want to select the lens fair. Click, drag to where you want it on top of the video. Then to edit the text, double click and say iMovie demo. You know, just your font and everything right here. Then maybe we want to extend that title a little longer. At the end, you'll get the same little icon, so you can drag it on it, make that 6.5 seconds longer. Um, you can select iTunes right here. That'll show you songs on your computer. Click, drag that into what you want. I'm going to shorten this audio to the sort of that last clip right here. Then we can select sound effects. iMovie comes with some built-in sound effects. They'll show up right here. It just takes a second to load. So, bell tower. Let's see. Maybe one. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, click, drag to where you want it. Put it below the other audio. Maybe we want it to start right there. So, to put that below the other audio. Then what we want to do is export it. You'll notice along with import, create, there's a share function. Select share and select file. That's to export it as a regular file. So we can name it right here. And we can view the whole thing right here. Now one thing you want to be sure of is when you're exporting, make sure you click off of the clips or maybe even click on the movie up here, because otherwise it's only going to export the clip you selected. So we can select our size here, maybe add a description or some tags, select next. Select where you want to save it. And then 
you can continue using iMovie while it's exporting. So you can continue adding on or doing other stuff. Just don't quit. You'll see this little progress indicator right up here. Um, it's slowly moving. That's the progress it's made. You can click it for more info. And if you want to cancel, select the X right there. It tells us we have about one minute remaining. So it's almost done exporting. When it's done exporting, it's going to open it up and it's going to say share successful as a notification. So you can see our final video is right here. And so that's about it. When exiting iMovie, you do not have to save. It keeps all of the projects right in here, and it saves as you go, so you never will lose anything. One additional thing that I would like to note is that when you would like to do a voiceover, you will find the function under Window. It says Record Voiceover, and it will then appear the little microphone here. You can click that to start recording. You can also set some options here or close the voiceover function right here. I would also like to note that if you are opening up iMovie, it may have opened on a last used project that is not the one you would like to work on. So you can switch over to the one that you would like to work on, such as this one that I was just showing you. But you'll notice it still keeps the other movie open at the bottom. Then at the top of the event right here, you want to double click on the movie that was attached to it and it will open that up on the bottom. Lastly, I will show you how to control the speed of a clip such as slow motion or fast motion. So we will take part of a clip here in iMovie maybe from here down to here and we're gonna speed this clip up. The easiest way to do it is to right click and choose show speed editor. You'll see this little gray thing down here. And you can pull that shorter. Now it's going to speed it up when you do that. As opposed to if I made it longer, which you can make it much longer it's gonna go a lot slower once you are done editing the speed don't forget to right click and choose hide the speed editor